The mission is complete. The stars have been charted, the experiments logged, and the final chapter begins, not in triumph, but in trial. For every astronaut, the journey home is a descent through fire. Inside the capsule, the astronaut straps in, humming with life support systems. Above the Earth, suspended in the silence of low orbit, a capsule begins its final descent. It floats at an altitude of roughly 400 kilometers, just above the Karman line, where space begins and gravity still whispers. At this height, capsule travels at over 28,000 kilometers per hour. Locked in a delicate balance between speed and fall, from here the journey to Earth will take just under 30 minutes. But time inside the cabin feels slower heavier, its hull is scorched. Its markings faded, a vessel that has seen too much and returned too often. Majesty oceans swirling in moonlight, cloud systems stretching like ghostly arms across the curvature of the world. Inside his cabin is dim, clinical, and cold. Four astronauts lie reclined in their seats, visors down, faces obscured. Their bodies are still, their breathing shallow, their minds focused on the descent. The control panels before them pulse with telemetry. Altitude, velocity, cabin pressure, heat shield integrity. Everything is nominal, till it isn't. The capsule drifts above Earth, its outer layer, engineered to endure the violence of space and the fury of re-entry. Sixteen thrusters are embedded along the capsule's flank, small but precise, each capable of delivering 400 newtons of thrust. These are not engines of brute force, but instruments of guiding the capsule through orbital maneuvers. The capsule tilts, aligning for re-entry. Thrusters fire in short bursts, correcting its pitch, At 120 kilometers altitude, the capsule enters the upper atmosphere. Plasma begins to form around the hull, glowing orange and red as friction builds. The heat shield absorbs the thermal load inside the cabin temperature rises slightly. Communications. Cut out. The blackout zone begins six minutes of radio silence as ionized gases block all signals. The capsule shakes violently. G-forces climb to 4.5 G. The astronauts remain focused. The descent angle is critical. If to shallow, it skips off the atmosphere like a stone. As the spacecraft plunges through the upper layers of Earth's atmosphere at Mach 25, the shield absorbs and sheds heat layer by layer, enduring temperatures that soar past 1,600 degrees Celsius. Shockwave forms, turning velocity into flame. The heat shield bears the brunt. Blood of layers vaporize, peeling away in sacrifice. Temperatures soar past 1,600 degrees Celsius. The capsule is wrapped in plasma, an artificial star streaking across the sky.
edge of space, where gravity loosens its grip and silence regains, the capsule begins its descent. It is broken free from orbital velocity, now Earth calls it home. At over 25,000 miles per hour, the capsule slams into the upper atmosphere. Air molecules compress. Inside, the crew feels the crush of gravity, sometimes seven Gs pressing them into their seats. Every second, the capsule slows. Every second, the heat intensifies. The angle of re-entry is razor thin. It's a steep and it burns. fire dims, the plasma fades, parachutes bloom like petals in the sky. From a streak of flame, it becomes a drifting ember. Earth has reclaimed it. At 10 kilometers altitude, the drogue chutes deploy. Two small parachutes that slow the capsule and stabilize its orientation. Moments later, the main parachutes unfurl. Three massive canopies, each 35 meters wide, billowing against the sky like sails catching the breath of Earth itself. The descent slows dramatically. Velocity drops to 24 kilometers per hour. Roar of re-entry fades into silence, replaced by the whisper of canvas and wind. Below, the ocean waits. The splashdown zone is carefully calculated, usually in the Atlantic or Gulf of Mexico, depending on launch trajectory. Recovery ships are already en route, guided by GPS telemetry and beacon signals. The capsule hits. The water, foam, and spray erupt. The hull rocks gently. Inside systems begin shutdown protocols. Oxygen levels stabilize. The crew remains secure. The mission is declared successful, 